In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of implicit differentiation. Okay, so before we go into implicit differentiation, let's remind ourselves what just ordinary differentiation looks like. So let's start off with just an ordinary polynomial, x squared. And if we want the derivative of x squared with respect to x, we can write the, the operator, the differential operator, the derivative of x squared with respect to x. That's simply 2x. Now, if we had, for instance, let's say we had an expression y squared, and we wanted to find the derivative of y squared now instead of with respect to x, but with respect to y, it's the same basic principle. Now we're taking the derivative of this expression with respect to y. The variables match up, so we just use the ordinary differentiation. Both of these are examples of what we call explicit differentiation, or just the ordinary derivatives. But this is an example of the explicit differentiation. Now, we don't usually use the, um, the word explicit when we're talking about just the ordinary differentiation. So I'll put that in parentheses, but I'm just trying to show you in contrast how the implicit differs from the explicit. So the explicit is the ordinary differentiation. Now let's take a look at a slightly different uh, twist on this. Let's say we wanted to take the same y squared term. Let's say we have y squared. But now, instead of taking the derivative with respect to y, we want to know what the derivative of y squared is with respect to x. So in this case now, y squared, it's implied because we're taking the derivative with respect to x, that this is somehow a function, y squared is a function of x, but that's implied. It's not really explicit. It doesn't have x's in it like we had up here. So now we want to take the derivative of y squared with respect to x. We're going to have to apply the chain rule. The chain rule says take the derivative of the outer function. So that's just the derivative of y squared, and we're going to do that the ordinary way with respect to y, just like we did here. So the derivative of this, just like it was an ordinary derivative, but then times the derivative of the function y. So if you think of this as a function squared, it's the derivative of the function with respect to y times dy dx. If we wanted to see whether or not this makes sense, you could in effect cancel the dy's because they're small, but they're not, they're not zero, but they're very, very, very small values. And we'd end up with what we started with, dy squared dx, which is what we started with. But we don't really want to cancel things out. We want to leave this in some, you know, effectively in an expanded form because we're trying to apply the chain rule. And with the chain rule, we don't want to simplify by canceling out dy's. We actually want to find the derivative of y squared with respect to y. Well, we have that up here. That's just 2y. And then dy dx can't be simplified any further. That's just dy dx. So you're usually not going to write this out uh, in, in this great a detail, but I just wanted to illustrate what's going on when we're taking the derivative of an expression in terms of one variable, but we're taking the derivative with respect to another variable. You notice before we had an expression explicitly in terms of x of x, and we took the derivative with respect to x. That's the ordinary derivative. Even if we don't have x's, let's say we now have y's, and we have just y's, and we're taking the derivative with respect to y, that's the ordinary derivative. We just apply the power rule and we're done. It becomes an implicit differentiation if we have an expression that has y's or x's and y's and we're taking the derivative with respect to another variable. So let's, let's give ourselves one more example to illustrate this uh, and then we'll wrap things up. So let's, let's make this a little bit more, uh, let's, let's open this up a little bit more. So, Let's consider the, the, the expression x squared times 
y squared equals 3. And now we want to apply the differentiation. We, let's say we want to find dy dx. So we're going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we're going to apply the differential operator, the differentiation operator, to both sides with respect to x. The derivative of x squared times y squared. And then on the right side, the derivative with respect to x of 3. Okay, well the derivative of 3 with respect to x, that's just 0. So that's, that's simple. On the left hand side though, we're going to have a little bit more work to do. We have the derivative of the product of two expressions. So we're going to have to apply the product rule. So let's go up here. All the way up. Give ourselves some room. Okay, so now we're going to need to apply the product rule. So if you remember, the product rule says you take the derivative of the first expression times the second one left alone plus the first one left alone times the derivative of the second one. Okay? And then remember on the right hand side the derivative of a constant, the derivative of 3, was 0. So now we have the derivative of x squared with respect to x. That's just 2x times y squared left alone plus x squared left alone times the derivative of y squared with respect to x. So this goes back to our implicit differentiation. Remember the derivative of y squared with respect to x right here was the derivative of y squared 2y times dy dx and that was the chain rule. So this is going to be 2y times dy dx equals 0. So now remember we're asked to find dy dx. So we're, what we're going to need to do is isolate dy dx using algebra. So we have to basically solve for dy dx. Well that means we're going to need to get everything else onto the other side of the equation. So we'll start by subtracting 2x times y squared on both sides. 2x y squared. So these cancel and we're left with x squared 2y. Bring that over here. x squared 2y times dy dx equals negative 2xy squared. And so still we need to isolate this dy dx. So let's divide both sides by x squared 2y, by x squared 2y. And so we have on the left side these two cancel. So dy dx, dy dx equals, we can simplify here a little bit, the twos cancel, we have a y cancel, and an x cancel. So what's left up top is, we have a minus sign, y over, let's see, x, negative y over x is dy dx. So we can leave it like this. This would be the uh, implicit differentiation uh, of, or implicitly di differentiating the original expression x squared, y squared equals 3. And it's perfectly fine to leave it in terms of y and x. Uh, you could also go back and solve for y in terms of x and substitute it back in so you have just x's in the final equation. But we're okay with this one for now. I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video.